some of you may have seen that I posted a video of um, a sequence that we call sun, of sun salutations and it was sun salutation A which is what we often do during Ashtanga yoga and the sun salutations have a purpose of trying to get the blood flow going around the body and get creating heat also to just loosen up your joints and also to stretch out the muscles and to kind of just prepare you for your yoga practice as well but you don't have to always do some salutations in your practice, it's an option there. But often during, um, if you follow Ashtanga Yoga, we tend to follow the same sequence and you will find that these will occur in any classes that you may do. I vary it, I sometimes include some salutations but I don't necessarily follow the Ashtanga program when I teach. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So you can vary it and you can also vary how many rounds it is that you do. So. We've done A on a previous video, so we're now going to focus on B. B is slightly longer than A, so you will find that there's a lot of chaturangas, so that's when you're lowering yourself to the floor. So you've got to bear in mind if you have any shoulder injuries, also any back injuries as well. You may benefit from putting your knees on the floor and then using that as support to lower yourself down. Also, if you have any kind of knee problems as well, you may find that you want to pad out your mat. So you can roll your mat over to get a bit of extra padding underneath the knee. Or you can use um, some knee pads that you can purchase. Or even just roll a blanket as well and using that will also help you. I'm going to take you through step by step um, as to which level you may wish to take it. And as I said, you can repeat it as many times as you wish. So what we're going to do is we're going to start facing the front of our mat, our feet just slightly apart, we're going to come into Uttakatasana first, which is also known as chair pose. So relax the shoulders, draw the shoulder blades back, palms can face forwards. Just bring yourself to your mat and just focus, take a few deep breaths in and out. And then what we do is we inhale as we lift up. And exhale as you swing the arms back and bend the knees. The fingertips brush the floor and you stretch up into your chair pose, Uttakatasana. So make sure knees are together and you can see your toes, palms face each other. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, straighten and hinge forwards from the hips, coming down into Uttanasana, forward fold. From here we inhale up to halfway. So fingertips come to shins, or they can come to the mat, whatever it is you prefer. But make sure that you're pushing your glutes back and that you're trying to be as much of a flat back as you can. Bend the knees, place the hands down, step back into plank position. So from here, engage the core, make sure the hips are not too high or too low. And then drop the knees, untuck the toes. Chaturanga. So this is when you're lowering down, keeping the elbows in, and then breathe up either into a baby cobra, a slightly higher cobra, or if you prefer, you can come down to sphinx, draw the shoulder blades back, relax the shoulders and gaze up to the ceiling. And then from here we're pushing back into Ad, um, Adam Car, which is downward dog. So you can either come through all fours, so if you're in sphinx, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, push up through all fours and then tuck your toes under. Or from here, like we did in some salutation A, you can push yourself up and roll over your feet and toes to come into your downward dog. So as I said before, it's important to make sure that you're extending the spine, so relax the neck and the head. Push through the mat with your hands. Now as you may see, my heels are lifted at this moment. Because I'm, what I'm trying to do is create the extension and length. I'm not trying to aim to get my heels towards the floor. If I do that, you may find some of you are in this position here. And you can see that my spine is now rounding. So what we want to do is make sure our feet are hip distance apart. And you're trying to bring your chest towards your thighs. Now as well, this is my first day of yoga in a few days, so my hamstrings are very tight. So I'm going to keep my knees slightly bent, but just straighten out the back as much as I can. So from here, we're going to lift the right leg, coming into a three-legged dog. The foot does not have to go very high. Draw the knee in towards the chest, 
From here, you're going to rise up onto the toes of the left foot. Flex your right foot and then aim for the foot to go in between the hands to come into your low lunge. So make sure your knee is over ankle. Take your gaze forwards and drop the back knee. So we're doing one variation in this round. We're then going to rise up. Palms come to face each other. Now try and find your balance as you rise up. Mine then was very wobbly. We're then going to bring the hands back down to frame the front foot. Tuck the back toes under and lift the back knee, step back into plank position. From here, we're going to drop the knees and tuck the toes. Chaturanga, engage the core, elbows clip in. Towards the body and breathe in, push up to cobra. Draw the shoulder blades back, relax the shoulders. I should add, you can be in sphinx if you prefer. Breathe out as you push back into Adam Card Downward Dog. We then lift the left leg, three-legged dog. Draw the knee in towards the chest. Rise onto the toes of the right foot. Flex the left foot. Step the foot through in between the hands. From here, we then drop the back knee, untuck the toes, and we rise up again. We're then going to bring the hands down, lift the back knee, step back into plank position, engage the core, drop the knees, untuck the toes, exhale, chaturanga. Breathe in, push up, and breathe out, push back. In to add your power downward dog. Walk your feet towards your hands, coming into Uttanasana. And then from here, we're going to swing the arms forwards, bend the knees, Uttanasana. Relax the shoulders. Start to straighten. And bring the arms back down by your side. Perfect. So that is one round, and we had a couple of variations. So you can keep your knees up or down as you lower, and as you're stepping the foot through, we're coming into our low lunge. We drop the back knee as we rise up, but this time what we're going to do is we're actually going to lift the back knee and come up into a warrior one. Now you don't have to if you don't want to, you can stay into your low lunge. I should also add, if you have any blocks as well, you may wish to use them as well at some point. So when you're coming into your low lunge, you can use them either side if you prefer to give you some extra support. Or when you're in Uttanasana, you can use the block here to hold, which might help you because you might find that you're not quite getting your hands to the floor, which is absolutely fine. It just comes with practice. So use blocks at any point, they are there for your guidance and for support. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go again, maybe a little bit quicker, and with the extra variations. So, again, relax the shoulders, palms face forwards, gaze up. Again, bring your focus to yourself, take a couple of deep breaths in and out. We're going to swing the arms up on the inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, Uttakatasana chair pose. From here we hinge forwards again, Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale up to halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, hands down, step back into your plank position. So this time you can keep the knees up as you chaturanga. Also try and bring the weight slightly further forward. Exhale as you lower down, lower down. Breathe in as you push up. Breathe out as you push back into your downward dog, either through all fours or rolling over the feet. Lift up, inhale the right leg. Bend the knee, come off the toes of the left foot, step the foot through in between the hands. So find your balance, the back heel now drops. What we have here is our front knee is over ankle, the back heel is down and the front toes are facing 45 degrees towards the front corner of the mat. And then from here we push into the mat as we rise up, bringing the palms to face each other. So we're into our warrior one. We 
We're going to bring the hands down, again to frame the front foot, turn the back toes now so they're facing forwards, step back into your plank position, take a deep breath in, chaturanga, breathe in, push up, so if anyone wants to come into up dog, put the tops of the feet into the mat, lift the hips and the legs off the floor, exhale, push back into your downward dog. Inhale, lift up with the left leg. Again, the leg does not have to be very high. Draw the knee in towards the chest, rise onto the toes of the right foot. Step through, coming into your low lunge. Again, making sure front knee is over ankle. Drop the back heel so the toes are 45 degrees. Find your balance as you push up into your warrior one. Hip should be facing the front of your mat. Palms face each other. Bring the hands down to frame the front foot. Step back into plank position. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, push back. And then you can walk or jump your feet forwards. Coming into Uttanasana. And then we swing the arms forwards, bend the knees. Uttakatasana, chair pose to finish. Make sure you can see your toes, knees are together. Relax the shoulders, slowly straighten. And bring the arms down by your side. 